Hello my friends, my name's LazyJet, today we are playing again Train Simulator 2022. Now I haven't been uploading much and the reason for that is I've actually been working on a project in Train Simulator. I'm actually in the middle of building my old hometown Eastleigh and my current hometown that I'm living in when right now... Uh, I'm building my old hometown Eastleigh and I'm also building my hometown that I'm currently living in right now, which is Winchester. <laughs> Now this is what I've got so far. Now Eastley is more or less done. I've just got a few bits of more detail because like there's like loads of like wide open spaces that have got like nothing in it. And I've also got factories and warehouses that have got like millions of detailed stuff in it. I've got four class 66s. We've got gravel land and we've got Eastley Works. And we've also got some guys that are actually doing some um, rail maintenance. Um, oh, look at this guy. You're right, Pete. But so far, I think it looks pretty good. Now, for those of you who actually don't know uh, the town Eastleigh, uh, g just Google it and just like look at images of Eastleigh train station because I think th this is more or less perfect. Now, I'm actually going to be doing some uh, like route building because um, at the moment I'm in the middle of building. Well, I've, I've, I'm pretty much finished. E finished. I've pretty much finished Eastleigh, and we go all the way up the line to nothingness. It's pretty empty here. Now, in between Eastleigh, there's another station called Shawford. Just wait for it to load in. So this is Shawford. Uh, now, I have to say this, okay, but I don't want to offend anyone. If anyone that are watching this, and if you live in Shawford, like, you know, forgive me. But Shawford is a very crazy, weird station. It's basically, it's basically like a floating station. Because you've got these houses, you've got these cars, you've got a bridge. Well, you actually got two bridges, because Shawford is like a... A double bridgey platformy. Well, no, it's a triple platform. It's kind of like Eastley, because Eastley's got a triple prap. Uh, Eastley's got like a triple platform, just like Shawford, but Eastley's more bigger than Shawford, and Shawford just looks weird. But I'm actually proud of how, like, because if I go to the, like, you can actually see, like, I've got all, like, each individual, like, 3D piece to actually make this. So the fact that I've actually made this, and, you know, I've only been to Shawford, well, actually, I've never actually been to Shawford. I only go past Shawford when I visit my mum every time I go to Easley because I live in Winchester. So the fact that I've made this right and I've kind of eyeballed this, I think I've done all right. But if we go all the way up further up the line, and then finally, we have Winchester! It's not 100% perfect, but the fact that, you know, this is just a, a, I'm just guessing, and I'm only looking at pictures I see on Google. I don't know what you guys think. I mean, you can criticize my work. I think I've done all right, though. Now, obviously, I've got so much more to do here. Uh, I've been working on this area, which is like a... It's, it's, it's basically like a, another, like, tunnel bridge under the, the, the whole railway i suppose but you know this is so cool and we've got like the guitar I, th I think there is a guitar shop down there i'm not sure and because winchester is uphill uh it's very hilly uh hilly it is Win winchester is basically on top of a big hill really um it's very hilly here in, in winchester so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna like you know do some more route building i suppose on camera because you know the fact that i actually I, I do a lot of route building but i don't really like film it and and put it on YouTube as, as, as much as I should have, really, because in my opinion, I mean, I like to think I'm a good route builder, although, you know, as I said, you, I mean, you can criticise my work, I don't mind, but, you know, I mean, I, I think I'm doing all right. I think there's going to be a lot of people complaining and saying, Lazy, what is this? I wanted a train simulator race. I didn't want a route building tutorial. It's not really a tutorial either, is it? It's more of a, of a guy who's just building his own little railway. Actually, it's not even my railway. I'm actually basing this off a, of the real, you know, southwestern railway line. I don't know what it's called, though. I'm just going to adjust the hill a little bit. Now, normally, uh, you can just click and just let the hill go up. But, it, one, it takes it forever. I mean, you can adjust the speed. So, if we put it, like, to one, you can do it, like, way more quicker. But the thing is, like... I like doing it by hand, so I like I like clicking this one and then just click and then drag up. One, it's quicker, and two, you have more control of the the, the level of, of the hill you want it. So in my opinion, I mean this may not be the most efficient way of building a hill, but in my opinion I think I think it's a good way of building, I suppose. In fact, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get rid of this. Because actually, if I go to, let me just go to my Google uh, Maps, which is on the other monitor, which I have to move it to this monitor. I've got so many monitors. Because I'm actually looking on Google Maps to get almost, 
like you know almost perfect but not a hundred percent accurate but you know I'm, I'm i'm doing my best i'm doing my best now there is a road that cuts off from here that goes sort of that way ish so i just need to get uh because I'm, as i said i'm looking on google maps as i'm doing this i'm gonna get uh that one is this the right one? Oh god no Let's go for light traffic because you know it's 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 more of it's, it's more of an estate road really. Um, have a go like that. Now it is a bit hilly, so we'll make it go up. No, we'll make it lower a bit. Uh, this is as I said, this is not a tutorial video. This is not like a how to build your own route because I've already made videos about that. This is just a way. This is to show you guys of how. Like amazing, I am at actually route building. Although it feels like I'm kind of boasting a little bit. This is more of a boasting video of like, oh look at me, I'm amazing. But you know, it's it's not the latest jet way, and it certainly isn't the best way. But you know, um, it's a way. Just gonna adjust it like that. Adjust it like that. Adjust it like that. Actually, we're gonna get we're gonna the. Should I delete this arrow? No, we'll make it go up. Actually, yeah, let's delete this arrow. That's much better. Make that go up. Then make that go up a little bit. And I've ruined the road, but that's okay. We could go like that. We could go like that. And that looks terrible. That looks rubbish. Let's just delete it all. Just delete. There we go. That 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 will that that will do. That will do. And then we'll go to the magnet icon, and then sl uh, click on the road which we want, and just yeah, make the hills go all the way up. Actually, let's make the the thingy bigger. So we'll have it as thirty, and then we just use the magnet, and it will just make the hill like connect with the road. And there you go. Job done. It's easy. Right. Let's save that. Um, so the game doesn't crash. Nope, the game hasn't crashed. My game does have a very bad habit of crashing. <laughs> it doesn't like it when I root build. So now we need to add some... Well, actually, we need to add uh, a concrete or brick. Yeah, we'll use brick, actually. So what I'm going to do... Well, we need to add a brick wall. So what we're going to do is going to click this square, then click on the road, drag it up, then click again, and then click this little arrow thing. Uh, how far do we want to adjust it? Let's have it on six. No, nope, we'll have it a bit bigger. Have it on nine. Too big. Seven. Not big enough. Eight. Now nah, that'll do. Go to the wall. Uh, we want a 2D wall because we don't want it too big. Um, oh, and I've made it gone too far. Well done, Oliver. Oh, getting a text message. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go this little snippy picture and just gonna snip off the concrete wall now because it's a very awkward position i need to sort of get underground to actually try and can i actually grab it is the game actually gonna let me grab the the concrete wall oh there we go and just delete it job done in fact maybe i could just do it like this and just adjust it a little bit go back to the 2d wall and just do it this way i suppose i, mean, I don't know if this will work Oh yeah, that works. Yeah. All right, let's save that before the game crashes. There you go. Lovely. Job done. Sorry, I don't know why I was looking that way. The camera's over there, not there. It's there. Not there. There. Not there. There. And now we've got cars. Look, we've got cars going on the road. How cool is that? Lovely. Very nice, Mr. Oliver. Right, let's go back to the route building, and I want to add more. I want to add houses now because I'm actually looking at. Well, actually, technically, these are bungalows, but you know, we we can we can improvise. Oh god, that's, that house is too big, not big enough. That's too big. Oh, I like that house actually. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put that house there. Family homes. This is what we want. Like. We want family homes. Oh, this is more like it. We want one that's a a long line. So we will just click and adjust. Let's have a look. Just put it in the right place. It's not accurate, but you know, it, you know, I, I can't make it look exactly like it does in real life. I mean, because that that would take way too much of my time. But to be honest, I don't think I'll be able to see them because I need to add lots, lots, lots of trees and bushes. So I'm actually doing work that I probably won't even be able to see. But I'm doing it anyway. Well, why not? Just, just be proud. It's there, or Mr. Oliver. Just be proud. It's there. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna add more. So we'll click on that and press Control C and then Control V, and I'll just copy and paste. 
lovely jubbly and that, and that makes my root building so much more like easier and way more quicker like when you just like copy and paste because it, it, it just it's just so easier and it gets the job done so there you go so it's kind of looking like more like a, a street now but it looks a bit too it looks too grassy so let's go to the paints and let's switch it to uh tarmac so because you know it's it's basically a road and a pathway, isn't it? We want to add a bit a bit of path. So now that we've finished painting the, well, basically the street, uh, we want street lamps. Now, let's have a look. So that's a station lamp. We want street lamp. Street lamp one. Ooh, here we go. This is what we're looking for. All right, we'll have one about in there. Copy and paste. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there and one there. Now let's have a quick little look. Oh yeah, and you see now, now it, it, it's coming along, isn't it? It's definitely coming along. It's looking look a little like a little bit like a street now. But I'm letting the video for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I probably might make a, another update video of this because you know I'm, this is coming along really nicely. Like you know I need to like do all these hill bits here and add some some more houses here. So and the fact oh, my, uh, and as I'll, I'll do the update. Um, We'll do like a, a before and an after sort of like like scene. So if I like 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 leave the camera here, and then when we come back to this, it'll look from being rubbish to not so rubbish. Follow me on Twitter, and Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>